hi guys welcome back to my channel trust everyone is okay this week so today we'll be doing a quick tutorial on berets and this is beginner friendly it takes absolutely five minutes or less to make this you don't need no lining you don't need extra fabric just one fabric just follow the instruction and you'll be good to go so if you're watching this and you're new to this channel and this is your first time here thank you for watching i appreciate you please click on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family the fabric has been folded into two and i measured a straight 13 inches line and here i'm using 6.5 inches to create a half circle so as you can see just follow the instruction this is very tricky but you know gradually you know just take your time and don't rush it 6.5 to create a half circle once this has been done connect the markings together and cut this out it should look like this afterwards so you have a full circle now place that first circle on the rest of the fabric and trace that out and then here it is you have two round circle separate it and then place it aside and the next thing you do is to fold the fabric the rest of the fabric into two and measure your head circumference my head circumference is actually 23 but i actually cut 30 inches here so i use the width of two inches you know start marking it and make sure it's equal then cut this straight fabric out and that's all you need this first pattern trace the excess fabric from it you know and then the other two circle fabric those are the only three patterns you need for this project so the one of the circle fold it into four equal parts and use three inches or 2.75 inches to create a quarter of a circle then cut this out it should look like this unfold it and place the first circle that we first cut on it and pin this round together hey you watching why haven't you clicked on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family please click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up drop a comment and share this video link so take your time and don't hurt yourself with the office pain and note that you'll be sewing this together with half an inch sewing allowance so you sew this round so we take this to the sewing machine and then this is how it goes guys do check out our previous post how to diy zara cropped sweater and diy open back top also diy art frame ideas and a host of others yeah guys before i forgot i'm actually using a wool fabric so it's actually thick and it can stand on its own width or without a lining so this is done then you have to notch around the circle so this will give the fabric the ability to stretch out and not fold inwards so when you iron it, it makes the shape to come out and then you get actually what we're working as. So the next thing we're doing is to get the loop and then you pin this around the circular area. So also you'll be using half an inch sewing allowance to join this together. But the trick about this is that after sewing it on this side I just showed you, which is going to be the closing, we are still going to be double folding this inward. So that that will be the taping and then to make it look neat and more classy and give it a good finishing so starting with the side i mentioned earlier you join that with an half an inch sewing allowance and then you start with the loop itself so you take your time as you can see i'm using half an inch sewing allowance for this as well because remember when we cut this it was actually two inches so the reason i made it two inches was for us to have enough room to double fold this inward to give you this classy and edgy finishing and then the detailing will be okay guys as you can see this is actually easy and straightforward so we are through with the looping so this is what it looks like afterwards and as you can see it's inward so i'm double folding this outward double fold it outward and then you sew around the circle just like that so this is me doing a top stitching on it to give it a classy and finished look like i mentioned earlier this top stitching is actually everything it defines everything because the reason we are doing this is to hide the rough edges since there is no whipping machine to straighten out all the rough edges inside the beret so this will do the trick at the edges and voila this is what it looks like afterwards but our work here is not yet done we have to iron this uh, all the same allowances we need to straighten them out and Wool fabric requires deeper ironing, as in you need to take your time while you're doing this. It depends on the fabric you're using anyways. And voila. So guys, this is what it looks like afterwards. You can see it's very easy. And it, can, it will only take you only five minutes or thereabout to make. 
So if you're new to this channel and you're still watching this, please click on the subscribe button. I hope you enjoy this. And this is so straightforward. If you have any question, comments, drop it on the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, I style this beret in different ways I could think of. And I'm sure you try this on your own and let me know how it goes. And guys, don't forget to check out our previous post, how to turn old sweater to Zara crop total next sweater and DIY air bonnets and how to make scrunchies and a host of others and don't mind me I just like fooling around and all that just to make you people happy laugh my viewers and please and if you're already a subscriber I love you I appreciate your support for always being here every week by week you know clicking on the video watching the video dropping your comments and likes I really appreciate you so see you next week guys love ya hasta la vista love ya Bye.